It takes a father to cultivate his seed from sacred maternal soil. To calm, cool, and collect the strewn pieces of infernal turmoil. And insightfully instruct while also seeing this son as his foil. Especially to provide a higher education through much toil. It takes a father to shine nobility on what one may want to hide. To cautiously advise, seriously listen, and also willingly confide. And all of this while giving the son at least one bucolic ride. Especially embracing him when he has returned from another side. It takes a father to forgive when all the world would chide. To endure hell and leave bonds unbroken and blood still tied. And be moved just as much as he moves the high tide. To save things from a sun, even sunflower, sun dried. It takes a father to encourage the cycles of life. To help his son envision children and a wife. And be capable of modeling fortitude through strife. Especially to be the band-aid after having been a knife. It takes a father to boast that he chose not to break his son's spirit. To see himself having been expressed in the flight of this one spirit. And stand in front of earth shaking rage feeling one to fear it. Especially reconciling, submitting, but also letting one hear it. It takes a father to be a father even when his hair turns gray. To facilitate one's glory and pursuit on his own way. And smile having something of warmth to say. Especially if the son feels lost, seemingly astray. It takes a father to know how to utilize the truth, to gently raise into manhood one from adolescence and youth. And when he is of age, give him some money to spend on some vermouth, especially though to celebrate his son's first year of sobriety in the VIP booth. It takes a father for the one son to know he is who he wanted him to be, to also know that his son is taken with him, and that son is me, and that I'm proud to have sprouted from roots of Jeffrey's family tree. Especially that having been in time, we are eternal. Therefore, eternally, you are father of me. Thank you.